We've got a couple different things that I want to convey, share with all of you uh, in regards to Divi Day. Uh, we're happy to take some questions and let the the conversation kind of go where wherever it's going to go. Um, the Divi Day stuff won't take forever to go through, but um, I do want to give everybody the opportunity to share and, and get, get more people in so that we had 83, I think, RSVP, so should be gearing up here. But in the meantime, how is everybody doing? I'm doing great. Just kind of sharing out the room. Hopefully everybody's doing the same. Excited to be here as always. Good to hear your voice, Ryan. Magic Bud Cannon. Yo, yo. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I've been working inside all day. And actually the first time I've been outside, it's really cool here. On the East Coast, I don't know what happened. I was expecting it to be hot as hell outside, but it feels great. Yes, I, I am loving the weather. It is like, I think it's, uh, I don't know, mid-50s. And whew, I wish it was like this year-round. Uh, I know that would kind of be weird, but um, I'm, I'm all for the, the cooler temperatures. So... Love getting into the fall, fall, maybe the winter. That's my favorite kind of season, seasons. But uh, yeah, I don't know if it's just on the East Coast or if it's, more, you know, farther West, but you should move to the Pacific Northwest. It's basically always fall. Or winter. Or yeah. raining. Yeah, but I was going to say the raining aspect. Uh... <laughs> I know for a fact how often it rains in Philly, bro. Don't don't act like it's not raining there all the time. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, but we get a mix of it. I mean, like, some winters it'll snow once, and then other times... It'll snow much more, but it's not like, you know, 364 days of the year, it's, it's kind of overcast and drizzly. And that's the, <laughs> that's the way I think of the, the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. The further up, yeah. Like Oregon and above is definitely, I feel like just gray at all times. I spent not some time in. I spent some time in Portland, Oregon, and it definitely has some, a lot of gray and a lot of rain, but there's some beautiful sunny days too. And it's a, it's a nice place to be. You know, it's funny. The only time I visited Seattle, I was there for two days and it was beautiful sun the, <laughs> for both days. And uh, of course I've heard that it's just like the rainiest place in the world or whatever, but I liked it. I, I visited Seattle a little bit when I was in Portland and I got weird vibes there, man. <laughs> there is some, like some Isn't that their whole thing? Progressive homeless people strange, like yeah. yelling at each other like across the street and stuff. I don't know. It was a weird place. They're actually just yelling at themselves. They just happen to be across from one another. <laughs> is that where the Ezekiel? What's <laughs> your name? Uh, why don't we talk about the market for a second? Because it's wild yeah. out there. Um, the dollar is just ripping right now, the DXY. And uh saw the Great British Pound coming down almost at parity with the dollar, which is wild. It's like a 32% drop or something. It's at like a, I think it's 1.09 GBP to 1 USD right now, which is insane. And... Um, I was just in Europe, and obviously the euro is is pretty hurt right now as well. It's wild right now, just seeing like the Dixie go so wild against all the other currencies, especially with such high inflation. But uh, I guess it's what happens. 
you're the world's reserve currency. Everybody just goes back to you. Yeah, I, it, I, I agree. It's very interesting and kind of scary at times to see the uncertainty and everything. But um, one thing I wanted to, I'm not trying to change the topic. I just want to make sure that we, we hear from you, Nick, about uh, the activation or not the activation, but the, the game that you guys were at recently. Cause I'm, I'm interested to hear about that. And, and like I said, I'm not trying to derail the conversation about the market, but I'm, no, I'm yeah, paying all, you for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, absolutely. Yeah. So if you didn't know, I was just in Spain uh, for El Derby, which was a football match between Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid at the Atletico stadium, which I had never been to before. And, um, so there was basically there's two like events that took place uh, across the two the two days that I was there, and um, excuse me, the first one was just like a VIP event with all the like a lot of the partners, uh, some global, some regional. So we were obviously there as Divi Wallet, um, but there was people from like Socio, so Dap- Dapper Labs, and um, tons of their other sponsors. Uh, so it was cool. I got to meet a lot of the people from all the different divisions of La Liga, um, some of the representatives from our actual regions. So I mostly like interface with obviously the MENA reps, but I met the, uh, the guy that uh, represents like Singapore, um, China. I met the, the rep out there. Um, and uh, there was tons of other people. It was, it was pretty interesting crowd. The match itself was insane. Like, I've been to a lot of sporting events in my life, even the Super Bowl in the U.S., and nothing compared to this, like, this energy that was in the stadium. I mean, when the crowd started screaming, it's deafening, deafening, like 70,000 people screaming in unison. I mean, <laughs> it's just something I've never seen in my life. Um, very interesting. They also wouldn't let me wear, wear my Real Madrid shirt. So <laughs> it was like all uh, Atletico Madrid fans. Um, but yeah, hopefully some cool stuff will come out of that. I, I have had some meetings with people already and, um, nothing like too crazy, but definitely some interesting moments there. Um, and then we're going back again next month for, uh, for another event. So it's definitely Ooh. like, we're def- definitely in the throes of the season now and, uh, planning activations and getting, getting excited about stuff. And I don't know if you guys saw this, but. I just saw um, earlier today, I retweeted it. There was a guy who actually downloaded the Divi wallet from seeing <laughs> the, uh, the DVR, the, um, the advertisements around yeah, the pitch. Awesome. Yeah, that was so cool to see. So um, anyway, I just thought that was cool. The, who won the game, Nick? So it was uh, Real Madrid won, which was awesome because uh, I'm more of a fan of them, but uh, – Atletico Madrid played very well. So, but Real Madrid is just absolutely tearing it up. They obviously won the, the season or the league last season and they won the Champions League last season. So, they're like the best one of the best teams in the world right now. Hey Nick, what what's the dynamic like between um all the La Liga partners and sponsors? Are there examples of of other partners and sponsors that are working together collaboratively? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a lot of it, there's a lot of collaboration with La Liga. So like, um, I think they have like a ticketing platform, um, that they actually use to do certain VIP experiences and stuff like that. They have like a VR. I talked to the VR, uh, platform, actually, they do some really sick activations, um, with VR, obviously. And, um, they do some stuff like directly with La Liga. And of course there's some cross pollination with the partners, but I just think it's cool that, uh, like La Liga is so open to like, it's not just a sponsorship where your ad is just up. Like they have so much uh, openness to actually allowing the partners to come and provide services and, and cool stuff with them, uh, which, which is really intriguing. I'll, also, I noticed like the camaraderie across all of the, um, across La Liga's like actual staff is really 
like motivating like they're very very friendly with one another and um you know you just treat it very well uh which is not always the case with with these high level high tier um like enterprises yeah that's that's really good to hear and and just to break in here for a minute guys we're happy to be here we got nick sabonaro here he's the ceo of the divi labs we're here to talk about divi day talk about the market talk about la liga talk about whatever you guys like so hop up on stage if you want to add your input we'd love to hear from you and share out the room because we want to talk to as many folks as possible hit those hearts hit those claps and those laughing emojis so twitter knows that you're a human not a bot and let's have a good conversation thanks guys nick i was i was i've never been to a european soccer game um we actually have tickets to uh, the the I forget the the U.S. men's league uh, MLS. There we go, Major League Soccer. Um, and it's a very interesting experience because they got um, at least here they they do like drums and they're beating drums the whole game. But I know that from well, what I'm getting at is, do they have Vuvuzuela, or I, I think what they're called, but those, like, horn things that they just blow <laughs> the entire game? Um, so not at every game, not at every match, I should say, uh, do they have those. Each each uh, t- sort of fan base has their own very loud thing that they do. <laughs> um, I know the those horns were extremely popular during – I don't know if it was the last World Cup or the World Cup prior, but yeah, <laughs> yeah it was like so annoying to watch on TV because that's all you hear. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, they each one does have something extremely loud and uh, and deafening, for sure. Cool. Well, uh, I did know uh, Crypto Sherpa, which we're happy to to see uh you hopped up on stage uh i wanted to make sure that we we gave you the opportunity to speak or maybe just say hello i don't know what's up crypto sherpa hey what's up guys uh you know just running on one hour of sleep i just flew back into cali from missouri stopped by crypto world for their uh first year anniversary of being a brick and mortar store evolving crypto and also i got to pop onto their live stream and you know, just spread the divvy love. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, well, that sounds pretty cool. Is there a? Uh, you'll have to send me if there's like a link for that um, that we can share around. You know, get get the the divvy word out there to more folks. Mm-hmm. For sure, yeah. I'll try to find we'll probably it. Probably have I it on the the. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah so you probably will have it on the update. Yeah, or but mostly the update will be on their YouTube channel. I just did a montage video that I uploaded when I was at the airport <laughs> last night. And then, yeah. But I'll say I want to chime in on, like, Nick being in uh, and Spain for El Derby. Yeah, those, uh, that, that, was it, that Instagram shorts uh, did not like, do it justice. You said, like, the experience was amazing because it said, like, it goes from this to this and it, it's the sound of the same so i guess you just got to really be there and experience it yeah nothing can quite uh <laughs> illustrate exactly what it's like you just got to get out there and, and see for yourself one day all right so uh, if you don't mind ryan uh i'm just gonna take the floor for one minute just because i always have to drop off i always i always have a call at 10 30 um sorry 10 30 my time so 15 minutes from now um so i just want to get a few things out so um yeah i talked to some of the devs today and the project manager uh for the DeFi stuff and nft 2.0 and um it's all looking really good um we're we're chugging along. Um, their estimate is basically, I'm going to give you the conservative version. Um, within six to eight weeks, we should have it fully, pretty much finished. Um, so there's your win. Um, and that's both NFT 2.0 and DeFi. I'm excited about all that. 
very excited actually because it just gives us more utility. We also had one of our investors come forward and um, he was very interested in having uh, it deployed on, on Polygon as well. So we'll be wrapping Divi on Matic as well um, as part of this. So that'll be our second Divi Everywhere Divi, <laughs> or E-Divi, whatever you want to call it. Um, P-Divi in this case, supposedly. Uh, yeah, so that was a, a great call. And um, sort of our aspirational roadmap is what we call our current roadmap. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, being executed on very quickly. Very excited about that. So just wanted to give you guys that quick update. And uh, I'll, I'll let you guys have the mic. Hey, Nick, could we call the Polygon Divi P. Diddy Divi? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can call it that. That's awesome news. Thank you for sharing that. I know that gets me kind of jazzed up. It looks like the gentleman that uh, downloaded the wallet from the the in-stadium ad is in the audience. Abbas. I don't know if you want to come up and share your experience. Yeah, if 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 you would like to speak, we would love to have you. Um, I, I tried to ping you and get your your Divi wallet username for a little little welcome gift, but uh, I know it was a cool story. We'd love to hear more about it. Um, but uh, yeah, Nick, um, I was thinking, and then I lost my train of thought. About the no, about the wrapping the. Yeah, I'm, I'm you were just Twitter excited page. about the P. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the, this is how it'll work. Like, um, I think the the most unique part about our um, Divi everywhere strategy is the fact that the Divi from mainnet to Ethereum will have cross chain staking, and the biggest problem with DeFi is that the yield typically comes from the entry of other users, right? So if you're on like Olympus DAO and um, all the big DeFi protocols that collapsed during, you know, DeFi, the big DeFi boom, um, they were essentially like very well sophisticated, uh, very, very well orchestrated Ponzi schemes, right? Um, they like actually purported themselves as Ponzi schemes. They call it thermodynamic Ponzi nomics, right? which is hilarious. Um, and the game theory was very interesting to experiment with, but ultimately without new entrants, the yield dried up because the entrants were the yield. There was no actual consensus based yield. That's a problem, right? So we actually have that. That's very, very, very unique in terms of uh, deploying a DeFi play in this stage in the game. And this is why I always say like, we have learned from the mistakes of ourselves and the mistakes of others. And that's why I don't mind coming out with um, a DeFi play now after DeFi summer's over, after DeFi 2.0 has, has passed. And now we're going to go into a new phase. And you already see the narrative across the industry. And if you like follow crypto Twitter or DeFi Twitter or whatever, you see like people are very wary of yield generation schemes now because of what happened with all, you know, with Luna and with the others. They don't. They want to know where the yield is coming from, and if they can't see, if the, if you don't know where the yield is coming from, you are the yield. That's bottom line how it works, right? Um, with this, the yield comes from our blockchain that you guys all use. You guys all run staking nodes and master nodes in your wallets. You know where the yield comes from because a new block is generated, and as a result of that, uh, the emission of the blockchain pays out the winning staker and the winning master node. That's how our blockchain works. We're able to actually cross that staking rewards into uh, these other chains. So the, the the yield comes from the blockchain into the Ethereum ecosystem, and then you'll be able to take your eDivi, which is just a working title. It'll just be it's just called Divi. If you, you some of you actually own uh, the Ethereum Divi right now, um, and you'll be able to just bridge into Polygon, uh, very simply swap over to the new chain. Um, and you can do DeFi 2.0 over there. I'm sorry, NFT 2.0 over there with extremely low fees. Um, you know, obviously Polygon's fees are like literally fractions of a cent, which is great. It's a great uh, roll up for, for Ethereum, a great scaling solution. So 
will continue to add more and more. And once you guys learn more about what NFT 2.0 really is, you'll see how important this cross-chain mechanism is. There is basically NFT 2.0 relies on the ability to be chain agnostic. So you'd be able to go all over the crypto ecosystem with your NFTs, um, which is basically only done on a project by project basis. This is actually going to allow for more NFTs to go wherever they want. Go put your NFT on Solana. Go put your NFT on uh, Arbitrum, wherever you want to go. Um, that's, of course, like the longer term goal. That's not what you're going to see the day it launches. But having Polygon already is going to be huge. Also, the Polygon aspect is going to be very important for Lightning Works. If you guys have been following Jeff, um, he's been heads down with Lightning Works. They're very close to launching uh, their Genesis collection, which is going to be awesome. Only 777, I think. Uh, Genesis comic book NFTs are coming out with that. So um, they, they're doing it on Polygon. So it's very important that we have P. Diddy Divi on Polygon, on Matic, uh, before that launches, because this is a huge use case and utility driver for Divi on the Polygon blockchain, uh, layer two, I should say. So um, anyway. Mind blown. Yeah, that sounds like uh, really, really awesome news. And just if you guys want to know more about what Nick's talking about, of course, we didn't talk about Polygon since that's brand new news. But on the spaces on September 9th, we had Josh and Chris on and we went into uh, pretty specific detail about those other treasury DAOs and how uh, Divi's initiatives are going to be different from that. So we're actually breaking that down in text format now because it's a lot to digest when you listen to it, but we'll have it in text form. So you guys can really take a fine tooth comb and, and read through it all. I think it's really, uh, really rich content. So I'm excited to have that out for you guys. Yeah, that is op absolutely um, a great way to start the weekend uh, with, with some news like that. So thank you for sharing that, Nick. And as always, uh, welcome. We welcome anybody who wants to come up on stage and ask a question, uh, especially with Nick heading out soon. Uh, I would encourage anybody who might have a question for Nick to raise their hand. Uh, otherwise, forever hold your peace, or at least until next week or whatever. But um, yeah, we got to be respectful of Nick's time. He's got a call and we certainly appreciate the time and the information he has shared today. So uh, take, take advantage uh, of the I opportunity. I appreciate you guys putting these together every week. Um, this has been a great substitute for, obviously, the Live at Five. I think it's actually, in my opinion, it's, it's kind of better almost. Um, it allows a lot more of like an organic conversation to take place. Um, and it's community-driven, which is really the way it should be, right? Um, and I'll, I'll help transition you into the Divi Day thing because um, the community is really what's driven us into having a, f this will be our fourth uh, year of the, the blockchain running in our fifth year in, in, of being a project uh, since we actually launched. And um, it's amazing. I mean, I just, I actually just had a meeting with somebody the other day and they literally looked me in the eye and they go, how do you, how did you have a project that's lasted five years in crypto. <laughs> and um, I told him one thing, uh, the community is the only way. It's the thing that's driven us through both bear markets. Of course, we're in, this, in the thralls of the second one right now, but, um, you know, we're still going strong. We're still building um, new stuff and supporting the old stuff as well. And that's only possible because, you know, the community is there and still believes in the, in the philosophy and the vision. Um, you know, obviously we have our, there's some arguments I see, you know, happening in some of the channels or whatever. Um, and people get a, a little bit obsessed with price or whatever, <clears throat> which is fine. I mean, it is crypto. Um, but ultimately you still have some of the people that are here have been here from that first day, uh, even back during the token sale. Um, some of you have been here since the blockchain launched and you had a uh, div X and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I just want to say thanks, and I'm very excited for Divi Day uh, 2022, and um, I'll pass it over to Ryan to, to tell you more about what that's going to be all about. 
I'll leave you guys with that. Yeah, thank, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Nick. Um, and yeah, I, I'm excited, obviously, about uh, Divi Day. Uh, there's a lot going on. Uh, hopefully, you've been noticing uh, the tweets to highlight some of the the comments that we gathered with that form that a lot of you submitted. Um, and yeah, in terms of what is coming on Tuesday, I've, I've got my list ready. And the first thing, um, if you do not have an AirCoins app, you should, uh, because it's going to be an opportunity. Uh, we're going to be dropping uh, 75,000 Divi all around. So we're giving away that Divi that all you need to claim or snag your, your portion is the AirCoins app. Um, now, having uh, personal experience with AirCoins, uh, make sure, just like you would do for your, you know, your self-custodial wallet, write down your password, write down your, your login stuff so that you don't lose that. Uh, but otherwise... Download the AirCoins app, and you're going to have the opportunity um, to earn or, or collect AirCoins just by walking around, you know, using your phone and, and claiming Divi in the, I guess you'd consider it the metaverse, or well, augmented reality. I'm not sure if that's the same, but anywho, um, yeah, and the, the claims are going to be five divi per claim that's the the plan and for any of you who were at bitcoin 2020 or 2022 um we we dropped a bunch of divi at the conference and we we the claim amounts were very uh small and we we learned from that and so we're we're making it more it's going to be more fun that you can you know basically pick up a dime from air coins every time you find one. So that's going to be just an opportunity. So I want everybody to, to download the air coins app if you haven't already. Um, and that's, that's, that's the first item. And if anybody has any questions at any time, of course, raise your hand because we're happy to take that, take those, answer those. Um, but if not, I'll keep moving down my list. And the second thing that's going to be going on on Tuesday is going to be a Siege Worlds tournament. Uh, we've kind of hinted about it or I've hinted about it. But we have $1,000 worth of Divi to give away. And the prizes it's not going to be winner take all so we're going to have a couple different categories so we can kind of spread the love uh, amongst a couple winners and so basically starting at at midnight i'm not sure exactly this is still a finer detail that i need to work out with uh, the siege worlds team but um it's going to be you know running all day so for 24 hours and we're going to award the person who accrues the most kills in the game, we're going to reward the person who accrues the most headshots. And we're also going to uh, award prizes to the top three places for the person who does the most damage in one game. So essentially for the total kills, if you play all day and you rack up tons and tons of kills, well, you've got a shot at getting the a chunk of Divi. Um, if you're just going to play one game, um, make the most of it because we're going to give away prizes again to the top three um, damage doers. And I see Millennium Sound is coming on stage. I know he's a big advocate of Siege World, so welcome to the stage. Millennium Sound. Hey, what's going on? I just wanted to give you my Divi uh, username so you had it. So you can send me all that Divi. Well, you can send me a message <laughs> and, and, and we'll see when it's all said and done. Nah, the game's a blast. If you haven't downloaded it, make sure you do. 
make sure you get a squad of people that you can work with because it's uh it's a it's a great game it's a great way to pass the time and it's uh interesting to see how it's going to work in the blockchain and all that is Seas World's PC only still right now? Uh, yes, as far as I know. I'll have to get on parallels, but good. Answer. So, I do have a uh, an update on that. And <gasps> so, th- I've been I've been talking to the team, and the goal is to have a Mac friendly version available for Tuesday for, for, for Divi day. Uh, I'm not going to make any promises or guarantees that that will be absolutely a go, but that's, I know that the team, because of this, the team has been, well, not just Divi day, but you know, people have been talking about wanting a Mac version. I myself have, have a Mac. And so I want that to happen. Uh, But they've been working on it and the goal is to have it ready so that, you know, more people can participate on Tuesday and, and of course, moving forward, but let's go. Yeah. I mean, that would be so cool if it was ready on Tuesday, but even if it's not just that it's going to be ready soon is really great. Cause I want it's you ready to enough. Talk. No, the Mac version. I mean the Mac version. Cause I, I haven't played it yet. Cause I'm on a Mac. Yeah. I'm the same way. I'm, I'm, dying to play but i've never been able to play and i've seen all the screenshots and i've seen you know millennium sound plays uh david scott he plays and uh, you know lots of people are playing but i have not been one of them up to this point and so if that was the case on tuesday may- maybe if it is maybe we'll have a we can get in the the discord and stream people playing i don't know i'm just throwing stuff out there but I it's mean, the, the Divi community is already so strong. Just think about how strong we're going to be when we're all fighting monsters together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're getting Abbas up on stage, so I want to make sure to welcome him with uh, open arms, although we're, we're loading. I don't have an open arms emoji. Yeah, it's funny that one day we were talking about it, the different emojis. And... You got your hundreds back, right? Well, but it was only for like that space. I never and even got for... them. It was only for a part of the space. It wasn't even like <laughs> the whole day or other spaces. It was just like Nick was talking about it and then Nick lost them and I got them and and then they were gone. Some Twitter dev got fired, huh? <laughs> But uh, but Abbas, w- welcome to the stage. Uh, good evening to you all. I am by name uh, Abbas from Nigeria. I want to ask some few questions about the B uh, project. So when are we going to start the uh, KYC on the B? Because uh, I have many people on my downline. They want to know about the full project on the uh, KYC. Then the second question is, about uh, is there any referral commission when you invite any anybody to join the DB wallet? Thank you very much. I'm very grateful to be part of the DB wallet. Thank you. Well, the the in regards to the first question about KYC, you you should, and I'm not sure about if it's a it's a country restriction. I don't, I'm not positive, but we do because in the wallet you should be able to submit a a KYC uh, submission already. So that's depending on, again, uh, you said Nigeria. I'm not sure if that's... Did you something. try to do KYC in the wallet and it wouldn't let you? Or there wasn't an option there? Or what happened? Yeah, tell us a little bit more if you don't mind. Abbas, uh, we would love to hear more about the KYC problem because there is currently KYC available. You can do that in the wallet so you can take advantage of the buy feature. Um, but when in terms of a referral commission, uh, that is not currently available, but it is coming. But go ahead. Go ahead. Tell us about the, the KYC situation.
I lost if you're talking. You're muted right now. Maybe his connection's a little funny or something. Um, but yeah, you should be able to KYC through the wallet currently. Um, if you're having any issues with that, uh, there is a, a, a place that you can put in a, a ticket. And uh, the Divi support team will, will help you out with that. Yes. Uh, Abbas, if you are having trouble with your KYC, uh, we have a tremendous support team. Very, very good. So I would suggest, like I said, if you're having trouble to uh, submit a ticket and if you need help kind of finding that, I'm um, not sure if you're on Discord yet, but uh, yeah, we can definitely get you get you situated. Um, and again, with a referral program, uh, that is something that we are working on. Uh, it's just not uh, not here yet. I wish Nick was still here because um, I'm, I'm really actually not sure, like where kyc is available through the wallet is it worldwide it, it's uh, it's probably i wish not. i wish divi wallet would 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 tell us <laughs> he's a strong silent type i think you know yeah i get it i get it um well i wonder maybe... if abu, i wonder if abu divi knows or I wonder if uh, the voice knows. Uh, the voice probably knows. Yeah. I know. Let me let me p- ping him. <laughs> but in the meantime, um, I can continue to discuss the 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 highlights of. Oh wait, nope. Maybe Daddy's going to come tell us. Divi Daddy, welcome. What's up, Divi Daddy? I heard you did the translation on that video, too. That's dope, man. Hey, man. How you guys doing, family? It's good to hear from you guys and be here. So I can tell you that there is, um, that, you know, KYC should be working, uh, especially in a lot of those European and Middle Eastern areas. In terms of Nigeria, I I haven't actually heard anyone specifically from Nigeria having issues. Um, But like the other day, I know that there was quite a few people in the Middle Eastern community that saw my video and started downloading it. Um, And they are using the wallet. I think their banks are the problem that are having a problem connecting. It's not that um, the KYC isn't available. It's the the in-app functionality for purchasing and your native currency, uh, your native fiat there is what's not uh, bridging over well. But that's that's really to be expected as the community and the banks uh, over there start getting onboarded. But as far as I know, Abash should be able to um, KYC no problem. And that would enable him to at least receive uh, to his Divi address. And there are many solutions to get your fiat into crypto and then you can use Divi application natively to swap tokens. So that's my solution that I would say is I wouldn't worry too much about Divi and whether or not you can KYC with Divi yet. Just keep an eye on the banks and just remember that right now Divi solves a use case problem that exists in these countries. Um, Their inaccessibility to the banking system is what the problem really is. So Divi project itself cannot fix this. Divi project is definitely pioneering solutions to make everybody, you know, the solution of their own banking system. But until the banks integrate fully with Divi project or really uh, onboard into the crypto community as a whole, I think you're going to see issues going forward with banks. Um, Now, there are options that I'm looking at, including online type banks where you you can have um they used to be able to do it and i won't mention the company's name because they asked me to cease and desist using them but they uh didn't like that i found the workaround for using them as an online bank as an integration for kyc apps to buy your crypto so it is one way to move money around but that's why we look at setting up structures internationally too um we hope we don't have these problems. These are problems we don't like to have. But again, that's why that video took off so well. It was such a big deal in the Arabic community. When when you say that you don't need a bank, they're like, what do you mean you don't need a bank? Without a bank, without permission, that is 
unheard of uh, in that culture. Um, and I'll tell you, one of the people that reached out to me, which is really beautiful for those of us in, in the U.S., you know, we really are working hard to become inclusive and respect and, and be tolerant of other people's ideas. Uh, and Divi Project is not, uh, you know, any different. They're actually leading that if you look at the way they're doing financial inclusion, but the women in the Middle East are the ones who are loving this the most. Uh, I know it sounds re weird. Why, why do they need to have it? But the idea is why do we need to have our own private security? So everyone should have access to Divi and Divi wallet. And I appreciate a boss coming on and making this, you know, known because I'm really passionate about bringing Divi wallet to the unbanked communities and the middle East to me is like where I'm going to go. And, Nigeria is just a hop skipping away from Egypt. Nice. Well, well said. Uh, and thank you for that, Divi Daddy. Yeah. I'm waiting to hear back from voice, but, uh, but no, that's excellent perspective as always. And I guess since I'm going to kill some airtime, I would like to tell you guys, if any of you guys live in the Dallas area, um, I'm putting on an event, gold, silver, crypto as well. So you guys are totally welcome. We do have VIP tickets, but if you guys are part of the Divi community, just send me a message and let me know you're coming. Do not buy the VIP ticket, your VIP tickets on me. So just let me know if you're going to be in the Dallas area. I'd love to grab a drink with you guys and like meet all of you guys. Um, just let me know if you're there, economicpeppers.com. And if you sign up, just let me know. And uh, don't buy the VIP. So just let me know you're coming. What are the dates of that uh, that event? I'm just curious. October 8th. It's a one-day event. So we're holding it at the Westin, uh, making it so that people can just fly in really quickly. Uh, crypto conference made easy is kind of the slogan, right? Uh, don't let Divi Project know that that's what I did. But yeah, um, it works, right? We want things really simple and easy in the Divi community. And this is one way where I'm going to just be able to tell a lot of people about why I'm called Divi Daddy. And if you've seen any of my marketing efforts, that's what I've been working on. So October 8th, uh, just fly right in. There's a shuttle straight from the airport that'll take you to the Westin. And if you'd like to stay, we negotiated some pretty sick rates. It's only like $100 a night to stay there. Um, so yeah, come on over, have a drink. We're going to have our happy hour on Friday night. And I'd love to talk to any of you guys that come, uh, about Divya. Actually, I'll probably utilize you all come and, and fill the room and answer some questions. Cause I'm sure there'll be a lot of questions there. Uh, we know that Bill Noble from token metrics is going to be there as well. So that's a pretty big opportunity, um, for us to get the word about Divi and Andy Schechtman is also partnering with us from uh, the silver community. You, you guys probably have heard a lot about him. He was just with Robert Kiyosaki the other day. So um, I think Kiyosaki loves the community too. We look to have him at an event in the future, uh, looking at the one that we're doing in Arizona. So this one is coming up. Uh, Dallas is our first one and will be October 8th. We plan to go to Arizona. We plan to do one in California and do one in Miami right around Bitcoin 2023 and shitcoin 2023. Man, Divi Daddy, thank you so much, as always, for being here, for dropping knowledge in spaces, for dropping knowledge in real life, for extending this really generous offer to give any Divi community members the uh, VIP pass to your, your crypto conference made easy. Thank you so much, my man. And I will say to end, but when Moon should know that I did put out a tweet about him a while ago. If you come to the event and you're following but when Moon, it's going to be a rare few people that will be entered into the thousand dollars that they don't even know exists anymore. I think my tweet fell off the radar, but there's a thousand bucks on the table for anyone who shows up and follows but when Moon and me on Twitter. That's all they have to do is show me and one of them is going to win. All right, I'm coming to Dallas. I would love that. Come on over. I'm going to give you a bunch of Divi. You're probably one of the few people. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not actually going to Dallas. Well, then no Divi for you. No! So, family, I got to jump off. Sorry, I'm taking my kiddo out to lunch today, but been a pleasure being here with you guys i appreciate you having me on like always and much love to all you guys let's keep the line at above two and a half please let's do it thank you so much for being here divvy daddy
All right. All right, you secret whale squad. You heard the man. Let's keep the line. Let's do a, let's do a quick giveaway, uh, an impromptu giveaway. Um, I'm going to say the first person who filled out a form and raises their hand and comes up on stage and, and well, just, just that the first person to raise your hand and come up on stage will win a prize. But they have to have filled out a divvy a divvy day form. Yes. And if you didn't fill out a divvy day form and you come up on stage, wasn't I the first person on stage? (laughs) I'm just kidding. You did kind of. You were kind of up here already, so I was trying to encourage some others to join us on stage. I guess nobody wants a. Uh, nobody divvy wants cash. Ryan's million dollars worth of divvy, huh? Well, oh, my, my screen shifted. Well, Millennium Sound, I'll hit me up, um, or I'll hit you up. Um, I think we have a message somewhere, something. But uh Oh, is that our winner? We got a well, winner? Well, Millennium no Sound is, is our winner. Millennium Sound is gonna get uh one of one of the coins, the, the new Divi coins. Oh dang, that's a good prize. I keep them with me all at all times. Oh you already have one, I'll have to I got I have all of them. I, I know, I know, and I and I'm remembering <laughs> now because you, you posted really good pictures of them. Um but I, I got something else, something different for you. Well, you can send me that coin, and I'll add it to the Divi spin wheel when I'm streaming. Oh, that'd be awesome. I'll, I'll, I'll message you, and we'll, we'll, we'll Yeah, we'll work it out. Just hold on to it, and we'll Something it real nice. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll pay it forward. Yeah. But uh, in terms of uh, getting back to Divi Day um, – there will be a space, and we're still kind of discussing the uh, the logistics of that. But uh, I'm thinking probably in the more in the morning uh, Eastern time, uh, so that we can kind of get the ball rolling and not try to save all the all the fun for the end of the day. But uh, in addition to the posts, the quotes that have been coming out, um, there's a, a video which will be released. Um, shout out to Tyler. Um, who is in the audience. Uh, shout out to you, my friend, for uh, getting that chopped and, and sliced together. Um, it's, I told him, I was like, this might make me cry. But uh, no, it's, it's a good video. It's, uh, it's not long. I think it's about six and change. But uh, that will be released. You'll see that uh, probably on the YouTube and, and we'll link it out uh, with socials. Um, and... There's, well, I'm going to hint at an announcement on, on Tuesday and I'll just hint at it because that's all I'll do. But yes, there will be some, some news coming out on Tuesday that, uh, yeah, hopefully everyone will be excited. About. I, I'm, I'm confident people will be excited about it because it's, uh, it's something that people have been commenting on the socials, but, uh, Yeah, that's kind of what I got. Um, you got news? What kind of news? News that only will be forth, or well, released on Tuesday. Divi Day! Just give us a little, a little bit. Does it start with an I? It very well could, but I can't confirm nor deny if it starts with an I. Is it could you say it like a Dr. Seuss rhyme? I don't think I can, but um, if you want a hint, it has to do with an activation. There you go.
Well, after, yeah, that's, that's my list. Um, and possibly there might be more, um, but I think you have planned. You also <laughs> mentioned you, that uh, there's going to be lots of different giveaways happening throughout the day, right? Yeah, I think um, there's going to be stuff on Twitter, and then in the spaces, we'll definitely give away some stuff. Um, and yeah, it's it. It should be a fun day. I'm I'm excited for it, and. I can't say much else. Yeah, don't spoil all the fun. Make sure everybody tune in. Yo, Ryan. I'm going to get on the Steve Worlds and, and dominate you guys. <laughs> yeah, as soon as they let that Mac edition out, I'm going to be there and I'm going to die really quickly. Oh, we got evil. We got evil coming to the stage. Hey, uh... Ryan, for next year's Divi Day, can we go like full metaverse and like Hi, just what are we play talking soccer about against each week? other and stuff? What's up, Evil? How's it going? Never mind. This shit seems lame. Bye. <laughs> Peace, my friend. I kind of like Evil's uh, little PFP, though. It's like a weird little monkey with pink hair. Well, um, for for Divi Day 2023, I think there's uh, lots of lots of uh, it, it's wide open at this point. So, um, so we can do full metaverse uh, soccer competition. I don't know. I think it would be cool to get together in person, personally. But we'll just have to see. Play it by ear. We'll let you know. Are you saying that next year is going to be in Costa Rica? I'm pretty sure that's not what I said. But uh, like I said, I can't confirm nor deny because that's that's a long way from now. We could do oh. like a live action role play of Siege Worlds on Jeff's spot in Costa Rica. But we can't tell him that it's happening. We have to just show up. Well, I will say, uh, since we spoke about Jeff, um, and maybe Heather is going to come up and, and mention this as well, but part of the uh, the Siege World Prize is, is being sponsored by Jeff. So, um, I'm sorry, so did, did someone be... say Costa Rica? <laughs> yeah, Divi, the next Divi Day 2023 is going to be hosted at Jeff's Spot in Costa Rica, and we're going to do live action role play of Siege Worlds. You guys can all come stay at my house. I've got plenty of room. Perfect. I mean, uh... <laughs> yeah. Bring yeah. your sleeping bag. <laughs> we'll set up. We'll set up some hammocks in the jungle. Super down. Maybe we can do a Divi Day cruise. I feel like cruises are kind of losing their their people are less into cruises. I don't know. Maybe that's just me personally, but I've never been into the idea of being trapped on a boat. But me. what if you were what if you were trapped on a boat with like a hundred of your friends? I think that would be pretty cool actually. Uh, maybe for a short time. Cruises always kind of freak me out. And like the way I've never been on a cruise, but like the the way that you see other places on a cruise, you like go to these fake cruise towns. <laughs> and so you don't actually get to see anything, you know? It just seems like a really weird way to travel. I think cruises can be fun, but I think the key is going with a group or like people you know. Um, we just need, uh, you know, we need Divi to do what it's got to do. And then somebody's got to buy a yacht and then we have a yacht party. We don't need to go take no cruise. Yeah, we can. What's the, there's a video 
some I don't know who it is, but somebody with lots of money who who has a boat that we can go party on a boat. I went whale watching with some friends and I just puked off the side the whole time. All right, so what you're saying is we shouldn't invite you on the boat. Make sure it's a pretty big boat, okay? The little ones that are all rocking around, that's not my bag. Heather, if you're still with us, uh, why don't you give us a little rundown on what's going on on the uh, Lightning Works side of things? I know uh, we're kind of ramping up, getting close to a close to a launch date. Yeah, everyone has been really uh, working around the clock for this. Uh, so uh, Jake has actually been um, uh, working. He's with the team in Costa Rica now, um, so they're they're working a lot to. Um, move faster the Siege Worlds development um, and then Jeff uh, has been working on everything doing AMAs all over the place he and Ace are um, uh, finishing out the character development so that's all kind of going on the website uh, the cosplayers which I'm really excited about um, they're all pulling together they've got all their costumes together and they're going to start doing um live streams uh playing probably siege worlds and we're looking at them doing some appearances uh ryan might be doing some things in comic-con in new york city so that's in two weeks so i'll keep you posted on i'll keep you posted on that um so the launch for the the, the pre-sale, which you have to be on the allow list for that. That's for the Genesis portal pass. Um, that is, we're still shooting for October 7th. Um, and we'll know more this week. Um, and the, the team's working on the whole um, purchase process. And everything's kind of coming together. It's, it's really exciting having all these different moving pieces, you know, you have the, the art, you have the tech, you have, um, uh, just connecting with a lot of the other, uh, NFT projects out there. And we're starting to do some kind of value added, um, uh, collaborations with them too. So that's been interesting. Uh, trying to think what else there's so much, there's so much going on. Yeah, hit me up about Comic Con because uh, I have somebody that is been encouraging me to come to New York City, and, and that would be a cool excuse. So I'll know I'll know more um, by the the end of the end of the week for sure. Cool, cool. And do you know Heather if uh, Jake was going to join us? Um, I think he you know, was thinking about it or Yeah, I didn't see him I didn't see him on here. Um so I know he said he was gonna going to try. Um and let let's see, because we have because we don't have a the Twitter space will be after the Divi Day, right? Um and we'll be doing a lot of plugging for the the Divi Day Siege, Siege World tournament in the Lightning Work server also, and and on um, I'm going to mention to Jeff any AMA that he's on um, over the next week because I think there's like five or six of those lined up, and he's trying to get on any podcast that he can and just spread the word. Well, we did have Games Interactive, and maybe that's that's Jake there. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey it's me. Hey, Jake, thank you. Yeah, I've just been listening in for, like, the past 10 minutes or so, but I'm just busy working on things and trying to get things ready for Divi Day. Awesome. Well, I gave... Uh... I gave the uh, the rundown of the plan, you know, how we were going to do it, and and I think we're... We're all getting excited, or at least I'm excited, uh, to shoot a bunch of people or monsters, and if if, if I can. So. 
yeah, I'm excited too. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I think it's going to be quite competitive with the high scores, and it, it should just be fun, like being able to see how everyone like performs in the game, and like whether any, I've got a good idea of like some people that are really good at the game that might um, be towards the top. So it'll be interesting to see if any of the Divi fans turn out to be good gamers. Yes, well, I will definitely not be on that list. Um, I've never played, and if I am able to play, I'll probably be pretty terrible. So, I'll be I'll be looking forward to looking up at the leaderboard from from the the bottom. Sorry, the internet's not great here, so I'm, I'm breaking. That's all right. That's all right. We just um, it was good to to hear from you and we're looking forward to, to Tuesday and giving out some Divi and having a lot of fun with the, uh, the siege worlds um, thing. And remember kills, headshots and total damage. So and, try to and excel just, in one of those areas. Just a shout out to Jake, you know, when all of our parents said, Hey, you're never, all, you're all you're doing is playing video games. You're never, you're never going to make a career out of that. Jake is actually a professor of game theory. So I hope I hope his parents were encouraging of him while he was playing video games growing up. Yeah, I'm quite lucky. And I, to be honest, like the amount that I played games as a child, it was like from when I woke up till I went to sleep, like nonstop other than school. So I'm surprised they even allowed me to do that. But They've always been supportive in what I've wanted to do, and it's worked out well. A lesson to all parents out there. Be supportive. Let them keep playing video games. It really is kind of like a social thing, because if I see this all the time, if Johnny's out there throwing hoops or tossing around a baseball or you know reading a book well that's okay but if he's if he's playing video games to get better and to practice he's like warping his mind so it's just a funny different way perspective to look at things yeah i mean the world that we're in now and it seems like the world that we're moving towards is going to be so digital and uh really kind of enveloping a lot of metaverse and virtual reality and augmented reality um and so it seems like people who really grew up ingrained in this video game culture are going to transition transition pretty well into what the world is becoming yes and and as a parent of of two young ones um it is interesting because we have intentionally limited the uh, the interaction with technology and and really focused on reading you know books and doing a lot of things outside and I guess maybe because my wife and I we played sports and we were outside a lot but it it's just goes to prove that you know just because my kids are not. Uh, tech savvy yet i mean they're still very young but um that that's the way of the world and i think that's what i'm getting at is what makes us different makes the world go round um but well i guess everything you know i guess it is it's like everything in you know moderation um but you you know like being a professional athlete in your career that it's practice, 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 and more practice. Yeah. Well, I mean, like Jake uh, mentioned, playing, you know, games from, from when he woke up to when he went to bed. And I think everything in moderation, uh, it's not necessarily wrong for, for everybody, but I think the, the people who are exceptionally good at things – they never took moderation, you know, <laughs> they never did anything moderately. They gung-ho all, you know, 
hundred percent forward in whatever it is, but yeah, I think, uh, to a certain extent, you, you, you got to commit to something if you want to be better than average. And here we go with the uh, philosophical discussions that we are in. We, but... we always solve all the world problems on this Friday afternoon call. Uh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, again, I've welcome anybody to to hop up um maybe you have a thought about i don't know how to raise kids or or whatnot but uh tell us why we're right tell us why we're wrong tell us how to raise our kids should we keep playing video games what are we doing here we're solving the world's problems what problems do you have we'll fix it divvy fixes this (laughs) Divi Day fixes this. That's right. All the problems in the world will be fixed on Tuesday because of Divi Day. Uh, You'll get a brand new set of problems. I'm super excited about the air coins. Like I still like that's still a fun thing for me to do when I'm just kind of sitting around or in a new a new spot. I just I love opening and just clicking and uh you know just finding coins everywhere. Even though most of it's just been air coins itself for the last probably month or six to seven months, there hasn't been much variety. Well, I will say I was I was testing it or not testing it out, but I was playing with my air coins earlier. It was yesterday, and I got a divvy, and it was a it was point zero five divvy was the claim. So Tuesday going to be five whole divvy per claim so Dang, that's like a straight 10x instant <laughs> very exciting yeah so download that app everybody then... i have a question what time will that start on divvy day on tuesday is there a specific time well that that's a good question um i'm still waiting on st- details like that like the the intricacies uh from from the the air coins team and we should be getting some like a publicity you know from their side uh in terms of hey come to divvy day we're giving away a bunch of divvy um that i was hoping i'm hoping that that might be uh available today maybe a little later today uh but ultimately I think it just depends on when we want it to. And I think, uh, yeah, it'll be, I mean, it'll be available for 24 hours. And the question is what time zone? And I'm not positive. I would say by estimation, it would be Eastern Standard Time just because that's where I am. And (laughs) I have have nothing uh, different or or better to gotcha it's just a wait and see just be patient we'll get the news it'll be probably tweeted out and then i'll probably cover it in, in my show <laughs> so it's the circle of life <laughs> yeah i mean kind of like today just don't sleep at all or get one hour of sleep or whatever just you know keep your keep your eyes glued to the screen follow the divvy project twitter uh just don't sleep you'll be good <laughs> I'm just chilling on the hammock now. Just ate some in and out, so it's like okay, break time. Then it's back to the grind. Oh, hammock time is good time. Oh, it's perfect weather right now. It's nice and cl- clear. I'm under the shade. There's a breeze. Got my dog next to me. He wants to go inside, but I'm not letting her. <laughs> Speaking of the weather, I want to go enjoy it and not that i don't want to spend time with you all but i want to respect your time and as we always talk about on these fridays uh we want to respect your time and hope you have a wonderful wonderful rest of your friday and weekend but uh i guess we're gonna wrap things up so that i can go enjoy the weather outside because it is beautiful out where i am um any closing thoughts? 
Uh, just thank you for being here as always, Ryan. It's always great having these conversations and everybody here, you know, it's great that you're here. I love uh, being able to interact in this way. Um, you know, shoot a follow to your host, to, to the speakers. Um, please show up again next week. We like having you here. Bring questions, comments, testimonials. Um, our DMs are always open. Hit us up on DM if you have any questions or you're having trouble with anything. Uh, one of the amazing things about this community is that we're very supportive and we like to to learn and we like to teach and we like to to help people get stuff done. We were all new in this at one point. There's no stupid questions. Uh, we all learned really, really basic things. Some of them way later than we should have. And so because we we're afraid to ask the questions. So don't be afraid. Um, ask the questions, learn what you need to learn so that we can all be successful together. I don't wait. I didn't just say wag me though. That I didn't say wag me. <laughs> no, but uh, taking uh, what he said and, and adding a quote from the voice and that's learn, teach, learn, teach, just basically rinse and repeat. Share the knowledge that you've gained with others. And yeah, I think that's how we as a community continue to, you could say evolve, but we continue to, to improve, stay, stay well, stay safe, you know, by learning from someone's mishap or whatever. Uh, share, share your experiences, you know, have, have communications with other members of the community. Uh, but that's uh, I'm I'm I love being able to be here with all of you and in the event that somebody gets a wild hair and wants to come up and speak to us. But uh, now, getting back to wrapping this thing up. Thank you, uh, everybody, and stay tuned. Next uh, next one will be on Tuesday. And in the meantime, have a wonderful weekend. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. We only got a few days before the next uh, little Twitter spaces. Lucky us.